Welcome to another RetroNAS video. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at NetATalk, uh, which is an open source implementation of AFP, the Apple Filer Protocol, uh, and AppleTalk. And we'll see how those work on some new Macs and some old Macs. Okay, as always, I have SSH'd to my RetroNAS Raspberry Pi, run the RetroNAS tool. From the Install Things menu, I'm going to choose NetATalk 3 to start with. So um, I'll demonstrate the newer of the two systems. NetATalk 3 is uh, AFP, Apple Filing Protocol, uh, but only over TCP IP. It doesn't do Apple Talk, the old Apple protocol at all. Um, so we'll see how that performs. I've got two Macs here I can test on. I've got an Apple iMac G5 running Mac OS, Mac OS X 10.5 uh, and I've got an older iMac, the CRT iMacs uh, and that's running Mac OS 9.2, the pre OS X uh, Mac. So we'll see how both of these perform under NetATalk 3 uh, and then we'll compare with the older protocol. So let's install NetATalk 3 to start with. Okay, so back on my uh, trusty G5 iMac, have a look at the model there. PowerPC G5 uh, running Mac OS 10.5. Uh, so again, we'll go to the uh, just the network browser and we'll see what it sees. Uh, now, previously we set up this retro SMB share. That was the uh, the Samba CRFS SMB server on uh, RetroNAS, but now with uh, NetATalk installed, we notice we've got this Retro AFP share. Uh, now the reason for the name differences is that uh, the, the Bonjour or Avahi or ZeroConf, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's, it's all the same uh, set of protocols, but different names for the different applications. Um, that cannot advertise uh, two protocols under the same name with a certain flag. Um, a certain bit of information. When those uh, cl um, conflict, uh, one of them stops advertising. So, so to work around that, I've called uh, SMB Retro SMB, I've called uh, AFP Retro AFP. I'll probably do the same for the other protocols as well, um, just to make the, the protocols very obvious to, to stand out. It also makes it a little bit easier with legacy operating systems. If you happen to have mounted the file system via two different protocols, it really stands out as to which one's which makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so, uh, well, let's Apple I that to get some information out of it. Um, now, this has picked this up as a Mac server, um, and it's given it a uh, Power Mac, an old Power Mac icon, which I've configured through RetroNAS. Um, I think that looks pretty cute. There's a few options. Uh, purely aesthetic, it doesn't do anything for the actual um, performance. However, let's uh, double click on it and see what happens. So, uh, same as before with when we did uh, SMB, uh, we noticed that as a guest, things probably don't work. I don't know what happens if I double click on that, if that'll work. Oh, it does work as guest. It'll probably be only read only, however. Uh, but we can hit the connect as button, change our username, oops, to uh, the username we configured. So again, I've username pi, password pi, please choose a better password than mine. All right, now we're connected in as pi, we can jump inside that share. Uh, and again, these are the, the uh, text files. So we wrote these text files via SMB on Windows 11. Uh, this one we wrote on Windows 10, this one we wrote on uh, Windows 95. 
uh, and this one we wrote on uh, this Mac, but via SMB. So we can see that uh, share working there. If we click on the actual share and Apple I that, no, we have to go in and do it there. Better way of doing it, there we go. We can see here uh, that this is actually coming up as an Apple share format share. Uh, and it's using this format. Uh, this naming convention here is the Bonjour convention. So it's picking this share up via Bonjour. Um, now we can compare, we can click on Retro SMB here, connect as, put in our username and password. This might be a little bit different uh, from different Mac OS versions. The, the interface has changed ever so slightly. But there's all our files. We can Apple I that, we can compare. So we can see this one is Retro SMB. Uh, it's an SMB type server. This one is an Apple Share type server. Um, the bytes on disk will be reported ever so slightly differently as well. That's always very interesting. Um, it's to do with how the different protocols interpret uh, the amount of free space and whatnot. So that's, that's always a bit interesting. Um, however, they should round up to roughly the same number, obviously. Um, but there we can see this Mac quite happily uh, automatically discovering the AFP share in the Finder. Um, it's sharing quite happily with SMB at exactly the same time. There's no sorts of conflicts there. Um, and we can see that we can read and write files via either protocol for this particular OS because it supports both. But if you happen to have a much newer Mac that's dropped AFC, AFP support or a much older Mac uh, that doesn't yet have SMB support, uh, you can use RetroNAS in the middle as a way to share files between them, which is pretty handy. Okay, before I show you the older Mac, uh, I just want to show you another way of connecting to the AFP share. So we used the network browser before. Uh, we can use the Go Connect to Server model. Uh, now that's our uh, CIFS SMB link that we used previously. Um, we can also put in uh, AFP and the IP address here. Uh, that'll do the same. We can uh, save that as a favorite, of course. Uh, put in our username and password, super secure. Uh, and there we go, that'll connect that way. Um, now, one thing I have noticed is if I put in the uh, name here, uh, I get an error. Uh, and I think that is to do with DNS. I think this particular uh, tool in this particular uh, version of macOS uses a DNS lookup here, not a Bonjour lookup, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, however, you can put the IP address in there, or of course you can use, uh, like we just saw before, the network browser to find it that way. Uh, so they're all options for you to use uh, depending on what suits your needs. Now uh, that's Mac OS X, a slightly newer version. Uh, let's jump on a much older Mac and see what this NetATalk 3 looks like. Okay, so over on my trusty uh, CRT based iMac, this is the, uh, the 333 megahertz model sort of came in between uh, the first iMax and the iMac DV, later on the Emax and things. Absolutely uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, Apple machines. I love the design of this thing. Uh, this can run a whole bunch of different OSs. I happen to have uh, Mac OS 9.2.1 installed currently. Um, I've also got this configured for TCP IP, so it's picking up a IP address from my DHCP server, which is nice, uh, connecting via Ethernet. So um, let's have a look at what, what we see from uh, AFP, Apple Talk point of view on this currently. So if I go into Chooser uh, and I click Apple Share, uh, nothing comes up. So I've got Apple Talk active, uh, uh, but absolutely nothing happens. Now that's because I'm running NetATalk 3 on the server. So the more modern version of NetATalk that drops support for uh, Apple Talk and instead does the whole Apple Share AFP thing over TCP IP and uses the Bonjour or the Zero Confavahi services. Uh, in order to advertise things. But we can put in the server IP address manually, that works. So let's do that. Uh, 
uh, and it'll ask us for the username and password. So again, trusty pi pi for me. And it will find the share. So that's our RetroNose share on our Retro AFP machine. So it's picked up the name of the RetroNose device advertising itself as Retro AFP. Uh, and it's found that retro NAS share. So let's uh, connect to that. There it is on the desktop. We get the little, uh, I don't know, foo, BSD, um, daemon icon, whatever that is. I'm not sure what the history of that is. But let's fire that up. And uh, there are all our files that we put. Now we should be able to read some of these. Um, depending on the file, that one's okay. Some of them sometimes get some weird characters at the end, depending on the encoding. I think these are all behaving themselves at the moment. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but we can definitely see, so that was our Windows 95 file, that was our Windows 11 file, so it's a very uh, modern OS. Uh, sadly, I don't think I've got an RTF uh, reader on here. Uh, so unfortunately, I can't read these um, RTF files. Uh, I don't have an RTF uh, reader on the system. Uh, but yeah, I can definitely read these straight off the share, edit them off the share, uh, copy them back and forth, which is really nice. Um, probably goes without saying that I have a physical Ethernet cable plugged into this particular iMac uh, simply because it doesn't have Wi-Fi. Um, also doesn't have a modem, this particular model, which is a bit annoying, but um, there's some things I want to do with RetroNAS with modems later on. Uh, however, that's working pretty well. Um, the only uh, downside, obviously, is that it doesn't show up automatically in the chooser. So what we'll do uh, in a little bit is we will go back to our uh, retro NAS device um, and we'll switch over from NetATalk version 3 to NetATalk version 2 uh, and we'll see what that looks like on this particular device. And just as an experiment as well, I'm going to uh, go into my TCP IP control panel, change my connection type to Mac IP. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, save that, reboot. So a quick cut to uh, me having rebooted so you don't have to deal with watching uh, progress bars load. Uh, and we'll try our chooser again to see if we can hit this. Uh, and we get no response from the server. Um, so doing IP things uh, in a Mac IP world on this particular model um, doesn't get us anywhere. So that's a fail with NetATalk3 using Mac IP uh, trying to browse our Apple Share. Okay, NetATalk uh, 2 is installed. Uh, back on the Mac, uh, we have also gotten back into uh, Ethernet mode, so we've got an IP address, which is all cool. Um, let's fire up our chooser. Choose Apple Share, uh, and we see immediately that the uh, Retro AFP share is now advertised. So that's uh, Apple Talk at least over TCP working, which is good. We can select that. Uh, so previously, we obviously had to put in the server IP address. Now it's being broadcast uh, to us, which is really nice. Uh, as usual, username and password. Uh, 
and uh, there's our uh, RetroNAS. Now notice the icon's a little bit different, which is kind of interesting. Uh, however, we should still be able to read and write all our files, which are uh, uh, as expected. So that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, let's uh, go into our control panel. This time set our TCP IP to Apple Talk Mac IP. Save that. Uh, and it's going to drop that share, of course, because now I don't have an IP address. Uh, and I'm going to restart in that mode. Uh, and I'll quick cut to the end of that and we'll see what happens with AFP. Okay, back on our desktop. I'll just check what's going on with TCP IP here. Um, will be supplied by server, nothing in there at the moment, but definitely no IP stuff. Go into our chooser, uh, and there's our retro uh, AFP. So, um, now I'm not 100% sure if doing what I did uh, actually forced it into no IP mode, if it's on pure Apple talk or not. Uh, however, uh, we can definitely connect and use it, which is great. Our files are there. Um, but again, can't prove or disprove that it's uh, not using an IP address at this point. I have to figure out a way to do that. Uh, what I would like to do from here, though, is try and get myself uh, an older Mac OS. Um, I think this particular model can go back to... Uh, OS 8 point something, I want to say 8.6, but I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to check that out. Um, it is a PowerPC G3 Mac, so uh, I'd need to find an OS 8 that ran on the PowerPC architecture. But um, I'd also like to play around maybe with some emulators. Uh, I don't have access to real Mac hardware that's older than this, unfortunately, um, but maybe try and use an emulator uh, if it supports non-IP um, networking through the emulation service. I, I have a feeling that uh, Basilisk 2, which is the emulator I'm familiar with, uh, needs IP information to, to share to a virtual Mac. I could be completely wrong. Um, what I haven't done though, is I haven't tried sharing a, uh, a virtual Mac, like an old uh, M68K Mac through Basilisk on my G5, so I might try that um, and see how that goes instead of like a Windows or a Linux machine and see how it goes. However, anyway, that's all rambly rambly. Uh, point of this story is we've got um, uh, broadcasting Apple Talk working very nicely through Chooser on OS 9. Um, in theory, that should work with older uh, Mac OSs. I would assume at least back to uh, OS 8, I'd love to say System 7, System 6. Uh, but I'm going to need to do some more testing to make that uh, known. Um, the other thing is I'm installing NetATalk version 2 from a binary package supplied by an older version of uh, Debian, which is the base operating system underneath uh, the Raspberry Pi OS. Now, I'm of the understanding that there are a few bugs in that that have not been fixed specifically around time using the uh, Time Lord tools. Uh, Time Lord and TARDIS, the pairing tools that uh, allow you to set time over uh, Apple Talk. So I want to go and grab a uh, fork of NetA Talk 2 and compile it from source and, and switch that out in the back end. However, uh, the entire process from an end user point of view should be the same. Um, which version of NetA Talk you choose is entirely up to you. I cover this on the, uh, the wiki. Um, I, uh, I recommend um, if you've got older Macs around, like this Mac OS 9, uh, all the way up to probably Mac OS X 10.2. Uh, I think in 10.2, Apple introduced Bonjour. So Mac OS X 
10.0 or 10.1, you definitely want uh, Net Atalk version 2. If you've only got Macs that are Mac OS X 10.3 and up that support uh, TCP and Bonjour, then uh, Net Atalk 3 is uh, the, the newer, leaner kind of code base. Uh, I think it scales a little bit better too um, from the little bit of testing that I've done. Um, so yeah, really up to you which one you use. Uh, this one's good it, whether you've got new or old. I'm not going to demonstrate this Net Atalk 2 on my newer Mac because the process is identical to Net Atalk 3. Everything that you saw working in 3 works in uh, 2 that, that looks functionally the same from that version. Um, Apple themselves, I think, dropped AF, AFP support um, at the end of the OS X family. So once you go uh, OS X 10.15, I think that's the last Mac OS X that supports AFP. Once you go into the Mac OS 11 and up, uh, the newer style ones, they've dropped AFP altogether. So again, really up to you which one you choose. Uh, Net A Talk 2, if you've definitely got older Macs lying around. Uh, Net Atalk 3, if you've got 10.2 and up, 10 point, uh, OS X, 10.2 and up only. Uh, and then, you, of course, you can share with SMB. You can have both protocols running to support your various Macs or Windows or whatever. Loads and loads of choices there. Uh, happy retro-nazzing.